rolling. My name is Stephen McDowell and I'm from the south of New Zealand and this is my story. At 17, I had a rugby injury which resulted in my first hip surgery. The pain never went away and at age 21 I had my second hip surgery. The surgery didn't go to plan and I couldn't walk for 8 weeks, I couldn't exercise for 8 months and I still can't run today. So overnight my life just stopped. I was a personal trainer, I was active 24 7 and when something like movement is taken away from you, you start to conceptualise a lot of things in your life and something I realised was I had to do something so I packed up. A $50 second hand bag I bought, I bought a one way ticket to the other side of the world and I left. When your movement's taken away from you, you can't help but conceptualise life. And what it made me realise is that there is no tomorrow. There's people saying that they're going to travel when you're older or they're going to do it later on. Why do we say that like it's guaranteed? Like life and old age is something that we're all going to get. It doesn't work like that. I had my movement taken from me, my whole life taken me for a small amount of time. And it made me realise that I'm going to see it all and do it all before that's ever taken from me again. have one life and within that life you only have a small amount of time that your body even works. I've seen what it's like to have that taken from me at a young age and I was gifted it back. If you gave that privilege to anybody else, I'm sure they would do the same thing. If I do get to that old age, it's going to be a great story. What do you want people to get from watching your videos? Well, what I want people to take out of these videos is I'm just videoing what I'm doing. Therefore, this is doable. You can do this as well. You've just got to put on your shoes, make a decision and roll with it. And your journey will be different to mine. But if you can get some ideas and some motivation from me, I'm not saying everyone should give up and quit and run off to travel. But if you do make it to that old age and you're about to tell the three best moments of your life to your grandkids. What are you gonna say? You have to push the boundaries, you have to explore, you have to go outside your comfort zone. And when you do, you'll have those three moments to tell your grandkids.